welcome to your Money Monday. Why are some realtors crushing it through the pandemic and others aren't? Hey, I'm Rich Motts. Welcome to Money Monday, session 224. So we know during the pandemic, some people dared to dream and other people are just in a nightmare. It's just that way. So what differentiated the people that really have crushed it during the pandemic with their real estate career? Let's review right now some of the great information that I got from the Tom Ferry Summit. The key to unlock my future for success. First of all, it's always about mindset, marketing, and models. So mindset, what I believe determines what I do. What I do determines what I achieve. Marketing, the ability to scale trust, attract clients, and generate appointments at will. Then model, what business model are you following? What operating system runs your business? And you know, what are some great models that you're exact, exactly like following as examples, I should say, some, some people that you really look up to? Follow their models. So let's talk about modeling for a minute here. The growth model for beating the market. So some winning strategies from actually the trenches out there in the field, what people are doing to make it happen. So for so many of the people, July and August were the best months of the year. An overwhelming amount of people and numbers have been showing it. So the best month of their career has been in July and August after going through you know, a pretty frightening pandemic and we're still in it. So the growth model, lioness versus a lamb. So a lioness is a commitment to be of service and a lioness is a commitment to be strong in the face of uncertainty. Is what's, That's where we've been lately, folks, in uncertainty. So be the lioness, don't be the lamb. So the people that are really crushing it, they continued to market the 180 theory. They pivoted when there was a problems going on. So they saw that change was upon us with the pandemic and they pumped it all in, pumped in a lot of information out there, social media, referral sites, database, direct mail, virtual open houses, geographic farms, worked on expired listings and reached out to other agents that got agent to agent referrals. They got that research done and got the nurture, nurture, nudge going on. And then they got to the appointments and the people were ready to buy. And right now the demand to buy is higher than ever. So growth during the pandemic. I mean, this is a great example of companies that continue to market and operating during times of crisis versus those who have stopped. So you see, when you market during time of crisis, people, the winners actually came out 14% ahead and the winners just stayed flat. So you want to be in that curve ahead and market yourself during the time. So the people that grew their business, they altered their marketing message to maintain awareness, trust, authority, and being of service. So they took their scripts from who do you know that wants to buy or sell a home to how can I help you from sell quickly for top dollar to sell safe and only move once not having to move twice during all this stuff. From just listed to work from home or work from your dream home. Isn't that true right now? Many people are moving because they want to work from home and they want a new place to work from home from. Just sold to how we did it safely and with less stress. So instead of marketing the properties, they're marketing the process. And then the last one here, are you living in your ideal work teach, play, and live home now, because that's what many of us are doing, everything at home nowadays. Also, the people that grew their business, they also marketed to grow their teams. And you can see here, more sales associates, lead nurturers, client care coordinators, listing coordinators, just adding onto their teams here. They had growth models going on. And they quickly adjusted to safety first, home buying and selling techniques, of course, to get through the pandemic. And they learned to ask thoughtful questions and listen with empathy and present with confidence and consistency. And that equals the high conversion. So again, the key to unlock your future success is all about mindset, modeling, and marketing, or let's say mindset, marketing, and model, if we want to go in order of the slide right there. 
And you want to be the lioness versus the lamb in today's marketplace for sure. So think about these things. And if you want some more information on it, I am here for you. So I hope you liked this video. And the most important thing for you to do is to take action. So if you want any more information on the material that I presented today, reach out to me. I'm Rich Motts, and I will see you next Monday, Monday. Have a great day, everyone.